Okay, time now to look at the French newspaper headlines with Nicolas Rushworth. Good morning. Hi, Catherine. Hi there. And we're going to be starting out with Le Figaro, which is looking at that very important question of taxes, and particularly taxing the rich. Taxing the rich. Um, you would have thought taxes could be one of the world's most boring stories, but in France it's hot news. There you can see Le Figaro um, leading on that. The 75% tax ban. Now, this is a proposal that Hollande very strongly favoured during his campaign. It's one of um, his pledges in that 60-pledge um, document that he produced during his campaign. Now, um, he... Um, believes that millionaires, people earning over a million euros, should pay 75%. And Le Figaro is leading on this, saying, well, it is an embarrassment and a casse-tête for him. A casse-tête means headache, doesn't a it? A nightmare. Yeah, just <laughs> no, not... A well, we've all been hearing about <laughs> Gérard Depardieu, haven't we? A skipping town um, to um, Russia and via Belgium and who knows where else. Yeah. And <laughs> they, basically, what's happening now, why is this um, front-page news for Le Figaro? It's because a radio station, Europe 1, very popular here in France, yesterday, Thursday, said, well, he's going to backtrack. He's going to scrap mm. it. And that led to an immediate denial from the socialist MPs who strongly favour this. Um, so that story, front page news. Um, will there be modifications? Obviously, the Constitutional Court has put it on hold, saying it's not a fair tax. Mm. So they have to find some way out of the problem. Yeah, it was a very popular pledge, wasn't it, back in the campaign period? So we'll be looking to push that through for sure. Um, top news for lots of the papers is uh, the return of Florence Casse. She was convicted in Mexico of being part of a kidnapping ring, but they've set her free, saying her case wasn't dealt with properly. Um, a huge amount of interest here in France. Of course, that's making the front page of most of the papers and lots of inside paper, inside page coverage as well. Le Parisien, I chose that. Aujourd'hui en France there, we can see. Um, Accoyi comme une star. She arrived at Charles de Gaulle Airport and was welcomed as a star. Now, that paper is also asking questions, and it says there are three main ones. Um, why did the Supreme Court in Mexico not declare her innocent or guilty? That remains a question mark. Second question for Le Parisien aujourd'hui en France, about Florence Cassé, is um, what about the victims? Are there, is their story coming out enough? Um, you know, what really the facts and nitty-gritty details of what went on in this um, alleged kidnapping case. Now, um, and thirdly, um, her former partner of the time, um, a Mexican guy who is uh, alleged to be um, the ringleader of this kidnapping, um, he has never been tried. So um, that's a, a third question that Le Parisien is asking. Mm. And could she be called back for another trial, perhaps, potentially, if they say they've got new evidence? Or lots of legal questions really come out of this. Um, the Liberation is another paper that's looking into this uh, Florence Cassé case quite closely. Well, it's uh, taking more of the broader angle in terms of um, geopolitics, not quite geopolitics, but international politics, mm. and whether, in fact, um, Nicolas Sarkozy should get the credit for this. He spearheaded a campaign to get Florence Cassé back to France from Mexico. And um, there, Libé's querelle, querelle de Liberation, so there's a quarrel, a spat's broken out between Hollande and Sarkozy, uh, the two camps. Now, Hollande said, yes, we, we support all those who um, helped her free, get, 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 gain freedom. But he didn't mention Sarkozy, mm. even though Sarkozy was very clearly uh, the person who spearheaded the campaign for her release. So that's obviously a, a political spat in the, uh, the usual context of partisan politics, as we know and hate or love. <laughs> and there is more Sarkozy in Liberation. Yeah, the front page of Liberation this morning has got a, a funky cartoon of a maverick personality called Bernard Tapie, who was a former socialist minister. And behind him, we've got Christine Lagarde, a well-known French personality, and also Nicolas Sarkozy. Now, what's this about, the La Tapie connection? It's to do with what's called, in France, the Adidas Credit Lyonnais Affair. It's about several years of um, wrangling over a business deal that um, Tapie had. In the end, the conclusion to it was a private arbitration, not a public one, um, which Sarkozy pushed through. And Christine Lagarde was the person who was um, overseeing it. Now, at the end of the day, Ben Atapi benefited from 400 million euros to the great gasps of people around France. How could this man, who is a maverick personality, uh, have done this? At one, one point, you know, he has a, um, a criminal record. So, um, the, the paper is saying, well, is this catching up with Sarkozy? Mm. Will this eventually catch up with Sarkozy? One of several um, scandals or affair that could, um, that could be a problem for him. Yeah, people combing through that dossier. I don't envy them. Thank you very much for explaining that very clearly for us, Nicholas Rushworth, with the French Paper Review here on France 24.